Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now my lovelies, before we get into your reading, I do want to give you guys a quick update. We are now open and available uh, for those of you guys that are trying to get private consultations. Now is the time to reach out to us as we are quickly booking for March and April now. So let's get right into your reading Aquarius. Let's see what spirit has for you guys in regards to love and romance. Now your first card here is the Four of Swords. So there may be some, um, some seclusion for some of you guys not communicating. Uh, there could have been some type of uh, break or giving each other some space, some type of room here. The next card here is the Nine of Swords. So there's a lot of anxiousness that you're carrying, Aquarius. For some of you guys, it could represent, especially those of you guys that have been single for quite a while. I feel that with the Four of Swords and Nine of Swords, there's a lot of fears about the future. Um, almost like questioning or wondering what is going to be unfolding for you or what's coming towards you. Or if anything will ever come your way, there is almost a feeling of like, like frustration is what I'm hearing here. Now we also have here the Five of Swords. So this could have been a situation where you were dealing with someone that perhaps um, wasn't really reciprocating or wasn't really uh, letting you know exactly where it is that you stand with them. Um, I feel that for some of you guys with the Nine of Swords and Five of Swords, there's definitely pride here. Um, now for some of you guys, Okay, so what I'm hearing is for some of you guys, this could be a situation where, uh, like I said, you have been single for quite a while. There's a lot of anxiousness, a lot of worry about the future, almost like kind of glossing over it and saying, well, uh, I'm not in need. I'm not in desire to want to settle down or anything like that. Like I am my own person type of energy. But deep down, there is fears. And with the five of swords here, this is like pride getting in your way or allowing pride to get the best of you. Now, if you can see here, there is like a stream of water underneath uh, this person. And th those are emotions. So again, I feel that you're not really embracing what your spirit needs emotionally. And it could be because of pride. It could be because you're very protected or overly protective, protected of yourself. Um, it could be from past experiences. You just don't want to, you've invested or given a lot. And there's almost the feeling of like no reciprocation here. Uh, so it could be the fear that you won't be able to have or you won't be able to attain. Now, this could be in particular with a specific individual or this could be general for those of you guys that are single. Like I said, there's a feeling of not wanting to let loose of that grip of I'm protecting myself or I am shielding myself because I don't need love. But deep down, there is a need or a desire for emotional uh, stability here. Okay. Now, let me see what the person of your interest or the target's cards are to have a better, clear understanding. I feel that for some of you guys, there could be um, almost hopefulness in this situation. Now, the person of your interest or your target has the Eight of Pentacles. So the Eight of Pentacles is wanting to put effort in this connection or wanting to take their time to be able to either rekindle this connection, uh, come back around and give a, a much more stronger, stable connection, um, the possibility to see where it can lead. Um, now, if you look at this Four of Swords here, you guys can see there um, the Virgin Mary. So there's almost like there is some type of hopefulness or something that you're holding on to hope in regards to this connection, in regards to this situation here. Um, now with the Eight of Pentacles, again, like I said, I feel that they, they may be invested or focused in their career, in their finances, um, but I definitely do see them coming back around trying to put effort in this connection. 
eight of pentacles is always like really uh being able to put in the work to make something manifest or to make something happen here um but we have the seven of swords here so what they're showing me here is there is a desire of wanting to fix this connection or wanting to put effort in this connection, but they're not being completely honest with themselves. The seven of swords is we are lying to ourselves or we've convinced ourselves um, that perhaps it wouldn't work, that this relationship would, it would take a lot for this person to be able to work it out. It could be that they see you as toxic, Aquarius. Yeah, we have the Six of Wands here. So the Six of Wands is, it's victory. Um, they're, see, they're seeing this situation as someone wasn't being honest in this connection. And it could be that they feel like you're a very prideful person, Aquarius, like they're better off without you. Um like it would take a lot of work and effort on their part to make this connection work. So there is something very strongly connected here to pride. I feel that if you're dealing, if you know who they're speaking about right now, both of you guys are extremely stubborn. Um, very stubborn and you guys are very prideful people. And I feel that for some of you guys, this could be a very toxic connection. Because it's almost like instead of seeing you guys bring out the best in each other, you bring out the worst in each other. And on your side over here, it's almost like you feel that if if they're keeping you up at night, if you're tossing and turning, there is excitement behind that. There is intensity or passion. And you're confusing that with love or with you're confusing love with lust. I feel that for some of you guys, this could be a person that tells you they don't want some type of commitment. They don't want some type of longevity. They're not ready. It could be an excuse. Um, and it could be that they're completely not being honest. They're deceiving you in that sense. Because the truth is, with the Six of Wands here, they don't want commitment with you. Do you see what I'm saying? It's like, if you're dealing with the person that is telling you they don't want commitment, believe them. It's not about circumstances. It's that they don't want commitment with you. The seven of swords is they're not being honest. They're not being completely transparent. But the six of wands is still seeking or looking for attention. So this could be a person that is very egocentrical. This could be an individual that you're dealing that is wanting or craves a lot of attention. And it's almost like they want you to feel sorry for them, for their experiences, because they hide behind that facade. But I feel that you guys are very toxic to each other, Aquarius. Let's see, um, Spirit, what is the energy that Aquarius needs to embody or embrace for the remaining of this month in regards to this situation and this connection? What is the energy that they need to embody or embrace? The Seven of Wands. You need to embrace the Seven of Wands, uh, Aquarius. Seven of Wands is standing your ground. This is knowing your worth. This is not settling for crumbs of their attention or crumbs of their time. This is, and I feel like I shouldn't be telling you this, Aquarius, because I feel that you guys are very highly intuitive. I feel that you guys can read or pick up on people's BS. But for some reason, it's almost like this person has become your weakness or like you've obsessed over them or become to the point of obsession. Seven of Wands is standing your ground. It is knowing your worth. Here's the thing. What they're telling me is the more you give, the more this person is going to take. The moment you pull your energy away is the moment they start missing you. It's the moment they start walking towards you or wondering what's going on in your life that you're not no longer giving them attention. Um, almost like a narcissistic type of energy. And you do not want to embrace that type of energy, Aquarius. 
it's time you believe in yourself. It's time that you seek healthy connections and healthy relationships. Okay? It's time you let go of toxic traits or toxic behaviors. You often find yourself questioning or wondering why things don't manifest or unfold long term for you. Well, the truth of the matter is because you put yourself in situations that you only become or only make yourself available to those that you know deep down inside are not emotionally open. Let me see what this person's energy. Oh, we got two cards here. Yeah, we have the Ace of Swords and the Five of Wands. This is the energy that they're going to be embracing or coming towards you for the remaining of the month. The Ace of Swords is clarity. This is having almost like a honest conversation. But with the Five of Wands, there's a lot of distraction. So it's almost like you're wanting them to come straight forward and tell you exactly what it is that they want. But that's something that they cannot bring to you because they are their energy is scattered or they're entertaining other people. Five of Wands is always competition. It's always other people keeping them distracted or like them not finding themselves like them not finding themselves um, alone to be able to have clarity. I feel that for some of you guys, you may be dealing with the person that could be like, um, they do have feelings for you, but I feel that their fuck girl or fuck boy energy is not something that they're willing to give up because they crave or they feel like they need attention. And we also have here the King of Cups. And the King of Cups here right at the center would signify the blockage. So the King of Cups is a representation. <clears throat> As a blockage, they are emotionally unavailable. And I feel that they've made that very clear at some point in this connection. So my advice to you, Aquarius, is do not invest your time and energy on people that tell you they're not wanting to settle down or they're not looking for anything long term because they're being honest. I think it is you who obsesses over the feeling of wanting to change a certain person's perspective or what they desire. And you're cutting yourself short because you are not being able to embrace these new beginnings or embrace a healthy relationship because there is something within you that is very pulled or attracted towards people that are not emotionally available to you. That's something that you need to heal through Aquarius. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it gives you some type of clarity. I wish you guys the best and we'll see each other soon. Bye.